Many Europeans' first reaction was, this is an American problem. This is part of America's superpower role in the world. This is part of America's interventionism. It's not a European problem. And then, of course, we had the Madrid bombings. We had the bombings in London in uh, 2007. And Europeans began to feel, especially Spaniards, for example, when the Madrid bombings hit, thought, wait a minute, we're not the, the gringo interventionists. Why is this happening to us? And then the London bombings and the fact that Europeans were participating in the wars in Afghanistan and some of them in the war in, in Iraq uh, made them part of this in a deeper way. And uh, they began to realize that Al-Qaeda and other Islamic radicals in the world saw Europe as part, you know, in the crosshairs as well and not just the United States. And so Europe's perception of its own vulnerability and its association, not simply with U.S. ventures abroad like in Afghanistan and Iraq, but Europe's own role as a post-colonial power in many parts of the world that, you know, had old irritations and tensions and legacies as well, uh, brought this home to Europe in ways that, it, that were initially unexpected. Nine Eleven has, among its many effects, had a quite a significant effect on U.S.-European relations, and we could see it in a way as like a snake-like path of alternating between solidarity and separation. Immediately after Nine Eleven, there was a feeling of solidarity. Europeans felt they were together with the United States in their, you know, revulsion over these acts. But then, over the next few years, it led to a separation, both because of the war in Iraq, which was so divisive and led to this just really deep, you know, unpleasant, divisive debates over U.S.-European relations, but also because Europeans, as they saw American society reacting to 9-11 through the Patriot Act, through the greater securitization of certain elements of American life, and whether it's harder to get into the country if you're standing in a customs line to stricter regulations about this or that, led many Europeans to feel alienated from American society and to feel that they didn't recognize the United States as Europeans used to stay in the middle years of the last decade. They, they saw the United States becoming a country that they felt separate from in many ways and more distant from than they had before. So you had both the, the big issues like Iraq that divided them, but also a sense that American society was reacting very differently to the security challenge than Europe was. But then in the second half of the last decade, I'd say the separation started to fade and the you know, a sense of commonality returned. Partly the election of Obama made Europeans feel much more comfortable with the United States, again politically, but also the sense that in a troubled world, in a world in which the West is being challenged by so many new powers, that the Europe and the United States really do have common interests that outweigh their differences.